Welcome to Headlines Health and Healing. I'm Portland Helmick. Torrential downpours have unleashed flash flooding in Colorado. Thousands have fled to higher ground as rising water has toppled buildings and stranded motorists. More than 100 people remain unaccounted for in Boulder County, but that number could include those who are stranded or who escaped but have not yet made contact, officials said. The trauma of escaping a natural disaster cannot be underestimated. So how are trauma survivors typically treated? Talk therapy or counseling as well as medication are common forms of trauma treatment, but some in the mental health field suggest that to really heal from trauma, you can't just talk or medicate your way out of it. The body, they say, is the route through which trauma is released. Today I'm going to take a look at TRE, or Trauma Releasing Exercises, with TRE practitioner Mary Shriver. She's going to show me how you can take trauma and actually shake it off. So I'm here with Mary Shriver, a TRE practitioner in Los Angeles. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. So this is kind of a new concept, the idea that trauma isn't just stored in our minds or in our memories, but it's actually stored in our bodies? Yeah, and it, and it makes sense. If you think about it, uh, whenever we get uh, in front of a trauma or any kind of stressor in the environment, the first thing we do is pull our body into a fetal position, and that's to protect the underbelly. And just like we have a natural mechanism in the body to respond to it, we actually have a natural mechanism to, re to rebalance and renew. To unwind it. And to unwind it. So how does it work? So it's very simple, although there's a lot of you know, neurology involved if, if you want to look at the neurology, but basically the, the exercises that we do that lead up to it stress out the body in a special way to elicit what's first like a physical tremor. And those tremors, which are basically just contractions, move through the body. They migrate through the body and they find the tension patterns in the body that have been there over time, either from something recent stressful or something from your childhood. And the contractions move through the body and release those tension patterns. And you don't have to actually know what the trauma was. You don't have to go in with, I want to release this trauma from when I was 17 years old. Right, I would love it if it worked that way. The, one of the reasons why the vets like it, it's working really, really well right now for PTSD, uh, is because you bypass the need for any story you don't necessarily know what you're releasing. And you don't just lie down and start shaking. There's a series of exercises that you need to go to to prepare your body to shake, right? Right, absolutely. We've got seven exercises. They're really simple, and everybody from children to uh, seniors can do them. Okay, you're gonna show me a few. Let's do it. Okay, good. So one of the preparatory exercises is, it's a calf warm-up or a calf fatiguing exercise. So we're gonna target the calf muscle. And how to do that, we're gonna put our hand on the wall just for balance, and we're gonna raise up onto the toe and lower and raise and lower until you fatigue your leg to a number seven from one to 10 on a pain scale. And then one of the really important exercises that you do is the wall sit. We're moving up the legs, and so now we want to fatigue the thighs. Okay. And so you're gonna do a wall sit, it's the classic wall sit. Um, some of people's most unfavorite. This we hold for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but what I'm doing is I'm, I'm fatiguing these muscles. I'm getting yes. them tired yes. so that you're gonna actually start to get a physical tremor. So we're gonna use those contractions and those tremors to move through the body up to the nervous system, to the brain stem. Oh, to right there. There you go. So that's a little bit of a tremor. I'm not, I'm not making that happen. <laughs> <laughs> so we probably won't have much of a problem with you on the floor. Uh -huh. We're just gonna hold that position and you're gonna feel the tremoring start to occur. I already feel it. Do you feel that? Yeah. You can close your knees even more and let's watch what happens to the body. There she goes. So what's happening right now is you've got contractions moving through your body, looking for tension patterns that are stored in the muscle tissue and contracting and releasing to discharge. Now tell me, are you feeling any feelings? Do you have any thoughts? That's what's so wild. I'm not, I would think I would be feeling emotional right now or something. I'm not, I'm just feeling like I can't, I feel like I can't stop shaking, but I'm not feeling a story or a memory or anything. And this shaking is involuntary. Yeah, but I mean, I'm really shaking, I'm shaking tension for me. Yeah. You're, you're shaking off. It's not necessarily a trauma. Not necessarily. For me. Wow! <laughs> oh my god! That's crazy! The biggest word we get is weird. That's weird. weird. Like, I am not making this happen. I'm not making this happen. <laughs> Great. Nice clearing of the diaphragm. Shoulder. 
Here's you. Okay. <laughs> I got you. It Can looks we... a little silly, but it's real. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. good. So let's talk about it. So I know that seemed really crazy because I was shaking so wildly at times, but I really was doing it <laughs> involuntarily. I wasn't making that happen. Uh, and that's kind of shocking. And I don't even know what I was releasing and it's not important to know. Right. Because it doesn't, for me, maybe it wasn't necessarily a trauma. Maybe it was just a stress from last week that I'm still holding on to. It's quite possible. And it's not going to necessarily come out in order. So it's, uh, it's, it's just a generic release of stress. But for people who've experienced serious traumas, what can this really do? This can help them get over it because actually trauma or PTSD is a memory problem. And this helps to disconnect the pairing of the physical trauma in the body from the memory in the hippocampus in the brain. And if people want more information about TRE, trauma releasing exercises, where can they go? www.traumaprevention.com. Traumaprevention.com. Visit the site. Dr. David Bruselli is the founder, and uh, there's a lot of video and supportive materials on there. So I, I hope you all go look. Thanks so much for being with me. It's my pleasure. So what I like about TRE is that you can do it on your own. I've actually done some shaking in my apartment since I had the shoot with Mary. And I like that feeling of letting the trapped energy, the stresses of the day, go. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And please, please, please subscribe to this channel. And if you have any comments or suggestions or maybe ideas about other topics that I might cover, make sure to put them in the comments box below. I'm Portland Helmick. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you learned something new. Now, anxiety, are you surprised that it's as common a disorder as they say that it is? No, not at all. You know, it is one of the most common things that we see and, you know, have clients come in for.